I go ahead and shoot the pregnant, I'm pregnant prank, I wanted to go ahead and just do the giveaway right now. Announce the winner of the giveaway for the $200 Amazon gift card. So I put everyone's name who um, wanted to go ahead and be added in, in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just close my eyes and I'm gonna pick someone. I might even just put it all on the table and just close my eyes and pick. So may the best person win. I'm gonna go ahead and make this quick so you guys know who won and I'll be reaching out to you directly um, if I go ahead and pull your name out of the, well not the bowl anymore. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, who am I gonna pick? Who am I gonna pick? Oh, hold on, I dropped somebody's name on the floor. I don't want nobody to be left out. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, so let's see who the special giveaway winner is. Drum roll, please. All right, the winner of the $200 Amazon gift card is Estella! Yeah! I love you, Estella. Congratulations on winning the $200 Amazon gift card giveaway. I will be messaging you directly. And congratulations, and thank you so much for supporting me. I love you so much. I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Let's go ahead and get into the prank, y'all. Wish me luck. What's up guys, it's your girl Tierra Sound and I'm back with another extraordinary freaking video. So you guys, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am about to do a fake pregnancy prank on my freaking family, okay? I have the pregnancy tests here. I have a total of three. Can you guys see that? I have a total of three of the fake pregnancy tests. I hope you guys can. Okay, there we go. That's better. The lighting's a lot better this way. So I have a total of three of the fake pregnancy test for the prank. I'm pre-recording the intro to the video because I'm not going to have any time to talk when I start this prank. So I'm doing this prank on my grandma and my aunt, okay? Um, I'm just gonna be like, I've been telling them all week that I've been feeling sick, nauseous, my stomach's been hurting, so I've pretty much been letting them know that all week. I'm gonna put clips of the text messages, um, here. I'll put all the clips and pretty much, like, me saying I've been feeling sick to my family. And we're gonna kind of go from there. Um, we're uh, my grandma is not in my st the state that I am in now, so she's going to be the first person because it's on the phone. My, my aunt is the reaction that we're going to catch live and in action. I'm really nervous for this prank. This might just be the start of my funeral, or I might live. The plot twist, they might be supportive. I don't know. If you know me personally, you know that I don't want children, like, at all. I'm not just not interested in having kids. So this is going to be crazy. I got these on Amazon, the fake tests. It says if you dip it in pee or water, it's going to come out positive. So I, I bought three because let's, let's say they want me to take it like in front of them, then I can do that and it's going to come out positive. So I need you guys to stay tuned for this um, pregnancy prank. Like I said, I am pre-recording the intro. So if you see me in the next clips wearing something completely different, that's why. Let me just go pick up a, a test. And um, actually, I do have a pregnancy test. Here. I have this test right here. Um, if you want to look at it. <laughs> look at Ivy's face. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> just look at it. So that's the test. And I'm pretty sure those two lights mean. <laughs> well, on the box it says that means like not COVID-19 positive, but <laughs> that's definitely the stuff. Anyway, so. And then I also remember when my niece told me this, maybe I'm just too naive when it comes to you, dear. And because I really do believe the things that you're telling me. So I'm, I'm in a complete state of shock right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
silence much. Why is this so funny though? I don't know. Usually when I'm nervous, I laugh a lot. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, so um that's the the results. And uh, yeah. I don't think I feel like it's not on the phone kind of conversation. So yeah. That's why I'm here. Look at your face. You should see your face right now. Does it look disappointed? It looks like, please tell me what you just said. It looks like you just said. Um, did you process the type of life that you want for yourself and that people make mistakes all the time? This is obviously a mistake, right? This was a plan to something like that. This is an accident. Gross accident. A grossly negligent accident. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who have you talked to? Nobody. I was gonna tell grandma, but then I was like, well, I told her I was sick and then she's holding the bag. Do you really want to just throw your whole life away? Trust me, it's not easy to hear how difficult it is. You will not have a life. Will not be able to do any of the things that you want to do. Get up and go free and do what you want to do. Furthermore, you're just opting to do it on your own. You don't have to. You do not have to. And if you think that I'm, I'm at the end of the day, it's your decision. But I'm your aunt. I'm telling you, straight up. Look at everything that you're going through right now on your own. It's not like taking care of a freaking dog. Sure. And you need, you're gonna need another job. You wanna travel, you have your whole life ahead of you. I'm sorry, dear. I don't. picture as if people don't do it, but you've seen 16 and pregnant. You've seen the show before, right? As a as a 30 year old woman, I, I empathize with those kids because just because you're 16 or 17, 18, 19, or 20, doing it alone is still alone, burdened by the situation of helping you stepping in. It's deeper than just, oh, it's a baby, it's cute, tear. You're still a baby in a lot of ways. That's true. Think about it. Nobody can fault you for doing the right thing. I can tell you right now, it, this is something that you do when you have a husband. Do to you. <laughs> so you remember that time where you guys threw that bug on me when we were watching? <laughs> <laughs> what movie was that? Yeah, y'all got me good. I got you back. I'm so late. It's late. But I got you. <laughs> we do all kinds of shit to you. Exactly. This is my one chance to get you freaking back. <laughs> Why would you do something like that to me? I was over here stressed out. Like, <laughs> you're like, Lord, please, please, I don't want to raise another baby. I don't want to. Is a prank? <laughs> yes, it's a prank. I'm not pregnant. I would never do that. No, nope, no offense to anybody who does it, but I ain't doing it. You're a piece of shit. How do you feel right now? I'm thinking in my mind, like I go so fucking hard for you and defend you. It is like April fucking 16th. This is way past off. April Fool's, right? I was busy on that day. And I think you were too. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> That's freaking fake. There's warm water on that. It looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> you are a piece of shit. <laughs>
Don't worry, I wasted like $27 coming over here to do this, so we both lose something. <laughs> so on. <laughs> Wow, disrespecting your niece in law in law, or is it niece, double niece, niece, niece? Saw nothing, saw nothing, none of those things. Now, why are you going to get out of the My heart's pounding. We're about to prank her, you guys. Oh, it's pounding. We're about okay. to prank her. I'm ready. Alright, I already started, so let's go. Oh my god. I start. Uh, bu 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 I already started. <sighs> That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. I'm about to pee on myself. That's why I told Jira, I got to get off. I got to go pee. Girl, I don't care she what you got to do. I, I got to go pee. I had her on. Well, she was on FaceTime. Wendell was standing right there shaking his head. Brought her a little dusty 
herself over here talking about she gotta come talk to me in person. I'm in another room. Let me, Ma, let me go to the bathroom. Let me. Call me dad. All right. Kevin Gates. Who's that? He got two phones. Who's that? <laughs> He's a rapper. <laughs> Stop. He has it's a, it's a rapper. He has a song called I got in the chorus he says I got two phones. It, 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 Yeah, I don't got nothing, Mom. I don't. I I don't. How do you feel? She has nothing. You you are you you really on your own. You know that that not, that was I'm something that it. could have never would have never never. like a little dog. Ask her if we're, are we going to support her and be there for her, her baby? I mean, <clears throat> I already told her, like, I don't know. I, it, it, no, it's a no for me. Like, you, either you not do this or you're on your own. Like, what do you, what do you, you like big, you a great grandma. <laughs> Look at so. It's when and I, I, when she turned it around, I said, Tiara, stop beating around the bush. Just turn it around. I said, son of a bitch. She was like, did you just say son of a bitch? I could have called you a fat dumb bitch. That's what was probably processing in my mind, but that's what came out to protect you, not me. Because you know I say whatever. I already knew I told Wendell, I said, normally she'd be texting us, blowing up our damn phone. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I knew a couple of days ago I was just trying to process it. <laughs> okay, write a song about this. This is a voice for me. <laughs> what? Yo, voice for Tierra. No. Stupid. No, I do Leon, too. I'm gone. second job and do every do everything on your own that would need to go to jesus you, you, you don't need that's that 
Your life is already fucked up. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> you don't even want to hear me. Speed it up. I'm gonna call her and tell her it's a prank. I told one door, I said she usually blow my phone up or later. Right. You ain't been texting, you ain't said nothing. You know what she means when she said your life is already fucked up? Talking about the current yeah. situation. I wasn't ignoring no call and that you. damn phone sitting up there. The damn volume was down because I was playing my damn game. All right. Um, I told her to call you back, Mom. Just talk to her, please, right now. I don't want to talk to her. It ain't going to be nice, and I'm already still mad at this fat bitch across the street. She, she caught me on the wrong damn day. And I knew she said she was gonna call me this weekend. Told me to tell her that today you're ain't the day. That you're upstairs. Yeah. Tomorrow ain't gonna right. be no bell. Come over here. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> why, Lord? Why? I'm forcing you, Mom. I told you. I just called her and told her to come back down. Come back down what? Um, she went to the store with the girls, and now she's standing here now. Talk to your granddaughter. Here you go. I don't wanna bye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she called me a fat dumb biatch. She does not there's no support. None. Oh. Okay, let's just text her it's a prank because she's not gonna wanna talk to me ever again in life. Guys, as you just saw, that's my grandma. And my aunt. And my aunt. I'm glad you guys got to meet them. But meet them. But anyways. So my grandma probably already blocked me by now and doesn't want anything to do with me. So I'm going to let her cool off and pray to Jesus for a little bit. And I'm going to just tell her it's a prank. We're not going to it's a prank. We're not going to get her in reaction. Because as you saw, she was not supportive of this pregnancy. At all. So... That concludes today's video. Don't today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell and stay tuned for the fire content coming up.